Welcome to another episode of Well, I'll Be Damned. Today, I have a Costway workbench uh, that I am working on. I picked it up for free. Uh, some of the hardware was missing. Apparently, that's actually a big complaint. And the biggest issue I have found, and that a lot of people have found online, is that the instructions are not clear. I didn't even get any instructions, so I just messed around with it. And that the drawer would not go in correctly or would not install correctly. I have figured it out and I'm gonna walk you through it. All right, this is the drawer. Um, it, it actually came assembled already. It just came assembled badly. Um, and this is what I mean. All right, so the first thing uh, is the side wall piece of the drawers, all right? If you haven't done already, uh, you want to make sure that the two holes are more towards the front, you know, where the uh, handles are. So when I actually got this, the lady that put it together, um, she had this wall and the other wall uh, on opposite sides, so the holes were towards the back. You don't want to do it that way, you want to do it towards the front. I was going to show you how to swap it around, but you should be able to figure it out, and I already did it, and I didn't feel like undoing it. So that's actually the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that those holes are correct. So the next thing you want to make sure of is the, uh, the bracket support right here, right, where uh, the roller attaches to is attached the correct way. All right, you want to make sure that the holes are also closer to the front. Now, unlike the ones on the drawer, you don't have to swap them around like around. You can literally just flip them however it is that you need. So you want them to go on like that. Here, I'll show you right now. All right, so like I said, just like that, um, with the holes to the front, uh, flat side to the inside, because uh, that's where the roller is going to attach to. Um, one more quick note. Uh, the ends of, the, of this piece, you don't want to go to the inside of the frame. You want it to attach on the outside. So it'll slide on and it's gonna do the same thing on the back. Uh, again, I don't have the instructions. I just literally went based off the picture I got off of uh, Costway's website. And I zoomed in and it showed this going through on the outside. So I highly recommend doing it the same way. So if you're like me uh, and you've tried to put the scale already, you had a terrible time trying to mount this on both the drawer uh, and the workbench. Um, it seemed like you can only do one, but not the other, and it was a complete, absolute pain in the ass. And even if you can get it on, um, it, you probably it was probably done wrong, and it probably didn't fit right, or what have you. So uh, it took me some tinkering. Um, and apparently this isn't in the instruction book either. I found that one out. I did some tinkering and I found out the best possible way, actually the way to uh, do this. I'll show you right now. All right, so the key to this is uh, you wanna take the smaller piece, you wanna fully extend it out, all right, flip it around. You may notice this little clip right here. All right, it took me a little while to notice this as well. You simply push it down Way, and pull all right and it comes apart easily and it will and it will slide right back on all right so that is also going to tell you what's going where and this is what i mean all right so the smaller one will be attaching to the actual drawer all right while the bigger piece will attach to the workbench itself uh how do you know that because you're going to attach this to the drawer first and once you have both sides attached uh, you'll just simply slide it back into place and I will be showing you uh, I'll be walking you through that all right so I've already got one slider installed um, what I actually did for this one uh, was pretty simple I actually had this entire bracket off and I went ahead and installed the slider on that way and you can do it that way as well I just installed the other one just to show you how to have, make sure that's set up. So, I uh, got it on, uh, as you can see, the small slider isn't installed, it's actually already on the drawer, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, make sure 
that when you install it, the slider is pushing out towards the front. That's probably self-explanatory, but you never know. Uh, second thing, all right, so placement is very important, obviously. So you want uh, the screws to go into the last hole on the uh, big slider, and you can't really see which hole it is right there, so I'll show you on the other one I haven't installed yet. Uh, it is, this is the back side of it, it is that middle hole right there. That is where that screw is going to be uh, installed through. Um, I uh, put, make sure you put this one on first. Uh, once this one is on, it will just line up with an empty hole down here, and that empty hole will be that middle one. Another thing too, uh, you want to make sure the flat screw side is on the inside of the uh, chest because the bolt on the outside, on the other side, where you at? There you are. Will stick out too far and will interfere with the sliding. So you must put it in, screw, screw into uh, through both holes, not other way around. Okay, so as I'm installing uh, the other side, one uh, thought occurs to me. So the, this last hole is one of those wide holes where this can slide a little bit. Only kind of slightly hand tighten this screw when you first install it on here. So that way when you bring it up, you have room to slide. Because if you look right there, if I slide too much left or right, I'm not quite lining up the hole like I should be. So kind of have that one loosely on there and then install that screw right there, which I'm about to do. All right, so I already got one of the small sliders installed on one side of the uh, drawer. I haven't done the other one yet. It's right here. So when you put it on, you wanna make sure uh, open end, as you can see, they both have open ends, are pointed towards the rear of the drawer. All right, with the closed end toward, uh, towards the front. Uh, screw placement, also very important. Make sure uh, the front screw uh, goes with the front hole. The rear screw goes with the uh, third hole, not the last one. The first one, not the third one. The first hole, not the last one. Again, uh, same thing as I said with the uh, bigger bracket on the uh, on the workbench. Uh, put install this side first loosely, so that way you have room to slide it a little bit left and right. Okay, easy enough. Okay, now that I have everything on, we're going to take the drawer and just slide it right on. That easy. find that the tracks stick a little bit and as soon as I'd like them to be. So let's take a little bit of lube. In my case I was using motorcycle chain lube. Uh, I would not recommend WD-40 because WD-40 will pick up sediments after a while. This will last a lot longer. Alright, I have a spray on the tracks just a little bit so they can kind of slide in. Alright, we're gonna do that on weapons so I spray some CLP onto the bolt and pocket a little bunch. A little bit. Yeah, there's already some junk right there. Probably from like the 30 times I take this in and out, so. All right. Again, this is also like a $70 workbench from Walmart, so. But thankfully I didn't pay for it. All right. All right, I just replied, I just applied it everywhere. Make sure to apply some on the tracks underneath too. Yeah, this is coming out a lot better, not a lot smoother. Again, $79 workbench from Walmart. Um, no, this is not the original top. This is actually some plywood I got from Lowe's. I cut it to size and uh, I stained it. And uh, I used some bolts right here. Uh, actually, here we go. I specifically used uh, inch and a quarter bolts. Um, I just drilled them to the holes uh, into the wood, used the existing holes in the frame, and got this nice and secure on here. 
So I didn't I didn't make any video tutorials on uh, the wood things. Something extra I did. Uh, I also made one for the bottom shelf as well, and I'm gonna make one for the top shelf. So yep. So in case you start wondering, oh man, that's not a Costway workbench. It's a Costway workbench. I just made improvements. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.